Hey everybody and welcome to today's tutorial where we will continue with the farm game. So start by making a new folder and call it blueprints. Open up the folder and make a blueprint interface. Rename this to BPI Activate. Open it up and rename the function to Activate. Go back to the Blueprints folder and make a second Blueprint interface and rename this to BPI Plant Seed. Open it up and rename the function to Plant Seed. Now go back to the Content folder and go to the third person BP. In the third person character go to Class Settings and under Interfaces add both of the interfaces we just made. Now switch to the event graph and search for the E keyboard key. Then from pressed, search for line trace by channel. From the components, drag the follow camera into the event graph. From there, search for the get world location and connect the return value to the start pin. Then from the follow camera, search for get world rotation and then get forward vector. Add a vector times float and change the value to 2000. Connect the vector plus vector to it and connect it with the get world location. Connect this to the end pin. Then from the line trace by channel, drag from the out hit pin and break the results. And finally from the hit actor, search for the activate message and connect the execution pins. Now select all the nodes and duplicate them. Then change the E key to the Q key and also delete the activate node. And search for the plan seed message and connect the execution pins. Add a new variable and rename it to seed. Change the type to integer. In the event graph, search for mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down. From the mouse wheel up, add an increment integer and from the mouse wheel down, add a decrement integer. Then get the seed variable and connect them to the inputs. After that, add an integer clamp and change the max value to 2. Duplicate the node and connect the outputs to the value of the clamp. Then add a set variable of the seed, duplicate it and connect to the execution pins. Make a new variable and rename it to amount of wheat seed and make it of type integer. Duplicate the variable and rename it amount of corn seed. Duplicate the variable again and rename it amount of bush seed. Duplicate the three variables and call them amount of wheat, amount of corn and amount of bush. Go back to our map and in the top of the screen select the edit button and go to plugins. There search for text 3D and enable it. And restart the Unreal Engine. After the restart Go to the Blueprints folder and add a new Blueprint class of type Actor and rename it BP FarmTile. Open it up and add a new component. First add a static mesh and rename it FarmTile. And on the right side select the FarmTile mesh. Add a new component of Text 3D as a child of the static mesh. Drag the text 3D 200 units along the z-axis and else also rotate it 270 degrees on the z-axis.
I change the text to three dots and I set the horizontal and vertical alignment to the center. Now compile and save and return to our map. Drag the actor into the scene. I immediately notice the text is not in the rotation that I want. So open up the actor again and set the Z rotation back to zero. Now I want to add multiple tile actors into our scene. For easier placement, I change the grid snap size to 100. Now add multiple actors to the world and use the snapping for easier placement. After you place a couple of farm tiles, you can also select them and duplicate them. When you are happy with the placement of your tiles, hit play and see if everything works correctly. Everything seems to be ok, so let's go ahead and go back to the farm tile blueprint and switch to the event graph. Start by clicking on the class settings and add the BPI Activate and BPI Plant Seed interfaces. Add an event plant seed and make a new variable. Rename it to is something planted of type boolean. Drag it into the event graph and add a branch to it and connect to the execution pins. From the false pin, cast to the third person character and use the get player character as the object. From the execution pin, add a switch on integer and remove the default pin. Then from the as third person character, search for get seed and use it as the input for the switch. In the event graph, add a custom event and call it plant weed. From the zero pin, search the call function of plant weed. After that, set the is something planted to true. Go back to the plant weed event and add a static mesh comp component. Make a new variable and call it relative transform location and change the type to vector. Split the transform pin and connect the relative transform location to the vector input. Then change the static mesh model to the weed one mesh. After that, add a destroy component. Duplicate the add static mesh component and change the mesh to the V2 mesh. And again, duplicate the destroy component and add static mesh component. And change the mesh to the V3 mesh. Connect all of the relative transform locations to the variable. Also make sure to connect the return value to the target input of the destroy component. Make a new macro and rename it to Grow Time. Under the inputs, add an integer and name it Grow Time. Make a new variable and name it Time and change the type to integer. Set the time variable into the macro. But also, don't forget to go back to the input and add the execution pin and name this in. From the component, drag the 3D text into the macro and search for set text, connect this to the set time variable. Then from the time variable, search for to text and connect the return value to the value input. Again, drag the 3D text component to the macro and now search for set visibility and set it to true. Connect the execution pins. Then add a delay and set the duration to 1. Then after the completed, connect a set time variable. Then drag a get time and search for integer minus integer node. The value of the bottom integer can remain 1. 
connect this to the set time input. Duplicate the set text nodes and connect it to the to text value input. Then add a branch to this. Get the time variable and search for equal integer. Set the value to zero and connect it to the branch. If false, connect it back to the delay node. Copy the set text nodes again and connect it to the true pin. Add a new variable and name it value and set the type to text. Connect the value variable to the value input. Click on the output and add a new execution pin. Rename this to out and connect it to the last node. Compile and save and switch back to the event graph. Add an event begin play and drag the text 3D component to the event graph. From there, search for set text and use the value variable as input. Since this is empty, it will render no text in the game. So start the game and as you can see the text on top of the farm tile is gone. Now go back to the farm tile blueprint and add a new variable and name it wheat grow time of type integer. Also add two more variables and call them corn grow time and bush grow time. Compile and save and change the value of the wheat grow time to 5. Now drag the grow time macro into the event graph and connect it to before the destroy component. Use the wheat grow time variable as input for this node. Duplicate these nodes and connect the before the second destroy component node. Compile and save this. Now we should have our basics working for growing wheat, so let's test it out. Walk to a farm tile and when looking at it, hit the Q key and we start to grow wheat. After 5 seconds the wheat updates to the next growth stage. Before finishing this tutorial, I would like to add a couple variables to the blueprint. So make a new variable and name it fully grown of type boolean. Add a second variable and name it what can be harvested of type string. Add a set node of the fully grown boolean and connect it to the add static mesh component. From the return value, promote it to a variable and rename it current mesh and connect it after the boolean. Then drag the what can be harvested variable and set the string to wheat. In this tutorial we started with the basics of growing our first crop. In the next tutorial, we will focus on making a user interface and a system for harvesting our crops after they are fully grown. So please make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss the future tutorials.